welcome back to another video so today i'm going to do a builder gel set builder in a bottle i don't know if any of you remember the mystery box i got last week from gel box uk this tequila rose builder in a bottle came with it in the mystery box so this is the color of it so we're going to use that today it's a beautiful beautiful color i love it and these three gel polishes blue lagoon limoncello and sangria they came in the mystery box as well aren't they really unusual colors to put together but i like them so this sticker was in that mystery box and i said we've got to recreate that without a doubt so that's what we're doing today we're not doing the thumb because i'm doing it on my practice hand so we're just going to do the four fingers ain't it cool so i'm going to be using the builder gel the three gels and this little detailer brush this came in the mystery box as well. It's a really skinny mini brush. Brilliant for this design. I'm going to use that on the leopard print part of it. And I'm excited to use this. I've wanted one of these for ages. Nail art pen. So we're going to use that as well today. So from scratch, we're going to build these nails. So I'm using these long coffin tips with my regular brush on nail glue. I've already done three tips just to save a bit of time. So I'm just going to press that on to the edge, to the tippy tip and then hold it down at the wings. Make sure them wings are stuck down at the sides. And these tips, they've got a little bit of a curve on the tip of them. So I'm just going to file that so it's nice and straight, nice flat, straight coffin. And then where it's been glued on, specifically them side wings, I like to file them right down and blend them right in. And then we're just going to quickly buff off all the shiny surface. One step I always skip on my practice hand is your dehydrator, your primer, your bond. Whatever system it is you use, obviously, you need to remember to do that if you want your nails to stay on. So, quick base coat and then they're going to get a 30 second cure. So, straight in with the builder in a bottle now. I'm doing a slip layer first. Really, really thin layer, just like you would do with a, a base coat. Really, really thin layer. And this just helps... Um, just helps the gel glide over the nail better kind of thing um it was really hot so the gel was really runny today normally i'll build my nails in two beads but you'll see i do it in three because I, yeah it was just really hot and runny so my first bead really just a nice again thin coat i'm just walking it down the nail i'm not concentrating too much on building the shape and the strength and stuff just um yeah just a thin layer and i'm going to give that a quick half a cure 30 seconds and these last two beads i kind of start to build my strength with these ones so i'll leave i'll leave quite a bit up the top there and just walk again walk the rest of it down the nail it helps as well if you have your finger pointing slightly downwards it just helps that product just yeah it gives you a helping hand to drip it and walk it down the nail <laughs> i'm going to give that another half a cure and this last bead, I'm going to try, and I attempted to leave the majority, the bulk of it, in that top third of the nail to give me a bit of an apex. <laughs> I really struggled to keep it up there. It was so drippy and hot. But, um, yeah, they turned out fine. Um, so I'll let you watch, and I'll show you the pinky as well. You'll see me holding the nail upside down a couple of times before I cure it. And that just helps the gel go back into the middle of the nail where it should be. So there's a little trick for you. So I will let you watch for a second and I'll be back.
Right, so that is them all built. I'm just going to give them a quick buff off camera. There really wasn't much to do. There never is with a builder gel because it's self level, self levels. So what I've done here now, I'm just using acetone on a lint-free wipe, and it just helps blend in some of them harsher scratches that might be left behind because I'm going to paint straight on these with the gel polish. So I'm going to start with sangria. Wait and see this colour. Are you ready, guys? Whoosh! completely covered in just that really thin coat fantastic little gels they are so opaque so smooth beautiful look at that i love it <laughs> so i'm going to get these painted and cured for 30 seconds and then we'll do the design I should, have, I should have showed you the sticker at this point to remind you, but if you remember, this pointer finger's got a, a frame going all the way around it in this colour. So I'm just using a really long liner brush. And yeah, just doing a nice thick nice thick frame around, around it. So again with the yellow, I thought I might have had to put this over a white, but I really didn't. It showed up perfectly over that deep, deep red. That just shows how pigmented these gels are, look. It showed up perfectly. So yeah, this red one's got a thick yellow stripe going down the middle and we're going to get that cured as well. So I'm going to start with the middle finger, I've just put a blob of that blue gel polish on my palette and I'm using the detailer brush that came in the mystery box and I'm just doing splodges, there's no rhyme or reason, there's no pattern to follow, just splodges. Similar sizes but not quite the same size, simple as that and I'm going to stick that in the lamp for 30, no I give it 60 seconds because they're quite thick so I'll give it a double cure. Now, because my leopard print blue splodges and this yellow line are quite raised, I'm going over with a nice thick matte top coat now because I've been told to use the nail art pen on a matte top coat. So a nice thick matte top coat just helps level the nail out as well. So now we're going to use this pen. I'm so impressed with this pen. I love it. So yeah, I'm just going to do little black leopardy printy liney things on the rest of these nails now and the blue ones i'm just going to do like half a letter c's like yeah you'll see what i'm doing but this pen is fantastic and it dried within a minute completely dry because it air dries i love it i should have got one two years ago when i first saw them <laughs>
so that is that dry now so quick top coat i was going to do a matte but i went with glossy so yeah glossy top coat and then that's them finished so quick and so easy but really really smart aren't they There we go, that is then finished. I love them, I absolutely love them. I was originally thinking of the blue nail, doing a nail bed with the builder gel and just doing the blue French tip, but no, I wanted to stick and and completely copy uh, the sticker. But yeah, I think they turned out fantastic. I love them. I have got a discount code for gel box. I can't remember it off the top of my head. It'll be on the screen or it'll be in the description box. Well impressed with that little pen. I love it. But yeah, that's it for today, guys. Um, links, everything will all be in the description box. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And hopefully, I'll see you all back in my next one. Take care. Bye.